Hello, I'm Emily Hawthorne, a Stratfor Middle East and North Africa analyst at RAIN. This podcast is brought to you by RAIN Worldview, powered by Stratfor, the world's leading geopolitical intelligence platform. Learn more at worldview.stratfor.com. Welcome to RAIN's Essential Geopolitics Podcast, powered by Stratfor. I'm Emily Donahue. In the months since the Taliban took control of Afghanistan, it's faced an economic crisis, sanctions, international pushback, and internal opposition. One of its biggest security challenges is the Islamic State Khorasan Province, or ISKP, which has been conducting a violent campaign against Taliban rule. Here with the security update is Charles Thorson, Stratfor Global Security Analyst at Rain. Welcome, Charles. Hi, Emily. Can you talk to me a little bit about what ISKP has been up to since the Taliban takeover? Sure. Since the Taliban's takeover, uh, ISKP has launched a widespread campaign, a uh, terrorism campaign, targeting the Taliban and also targeting Shiite Muslims across Afghanistan, including several bombings and uh, a couple bombings in Kabul, as well as uh, routine attacks in uh, western Afghanistan near the border with Pakistan. So can you talk to me about the Taliban's combat against ISKP? Has it been successful at all? The Taliban has had marginal successes against ISKP. Uh, They have uh, claimed to have made several arrests and other targeted killings of suspected Islamic State Khorasan province. However, at this point, there are no indications they've been successful. Uh, Islamic State Khorasan province has maintained their uh, tempo of activities and generally uh, been able to proceed, um, conduct activities unmolested by the Taliban. So uh, there, at this point, the indications are that ISKP is going to pose a long-term threat for the Taliban. So let's talk a little bit about this group's attacks and what they indicate about both regional and global threats it might pose. ISKP has proven itself capable of conducting uh, large-scale coordinated attacks within Afghanistan. And so if it ever develops external aspirations, it would likely be quite, it it has the potential to be quite a potent uh, threat regionally, if not globally. And it certainly has the has aspirations to conduct attacks elsewhere in the region. Uh, ISKP has seized on, for example, the issue of Indian control of Kashmir, as well as uh, the Chinese repression of Uyghurs in uh, in China as key issues that it seeks to um, seeks to highlight in its um, in its operations. So, for example, in an attack in I believe it was in Kabul. Um, uh, they claimed the attacker was a Uyghur militant. So, you know, they've shown their ability to recruit foreigners and their ability to conduct complex attacks. And so they do pose a regional threat? What about a global threat? They pose a potential regional threat. At this point, their their main focus is likely to be within Afghanistan, undermining the Taliban for the foreseeable future. But going forward, they certainly aspire to pose a regional threat. On the, the global front, um, the big concern is is, two, is one or two years down the road if they remain unimpeded by, uh, I mean, if the Taliban continue to remain un, uh, ineffective, if ISKP uh, proves successful in supplanting the Taliban rule or in undermining the Taliban, then it could pose a significant global threat. Um, but for the time being, it's ISKP's global reach is primarily a matter of inspiring lone actors. Charles Thorson is a Stratfor Global Security Analyst at RAIN. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Emily. Developments in Afghanistan have been and do remain major drivers of global geopolitics. You can stay ahead of all of those with RAIN Worldview, powered by Stratfor. Right now, we're having a special price for subscribers. Visit stratfor.com for more details. That's stratfor.com. I'm Emily Donahue. Thanks for listening.